Let's take a look at rational functions, uh, specifically graphing on T84 plus calculator. Let's look at our first problem. Got f of x is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 3. Now we talked about fractions before when we got to the basic graphing uh, video. But uh, remember, if you ever have more than a single number or a single variable on top or bottom, uh, the trick is to put parentheses around that part. So we're going to put parentheses around the top, and we'll put parentheses around the bottom. Other than that, we pretty well type in as you see it. So I'm going to press my uh, y equals, and I'll press clear, and I'm going to down arrow to y2 and press clear on it too. Not that it matters. Zero there doesn't hurt anything. And then I'm back up on y1, so I'll do a beginning parentheses, x plus 4, closing parentheses, divided by beginning parentheses, x minus 3. And then close parentheses. And then graph. And this would be our answer. I'm going to spend a whole lot of time trying to get it to look perfect. Now I remember finding vertical asymptotes. For vertical asymptotes, you factor the top, back to the bottom, which we can't factor anything here. And then you uh, cancel if possible. We can't cancel anything. And then you set your denominator equal to zero. So for the vertical asymptote, we'd set the x minus 3 is equal to zero. And we get x is equal to positive 3. That means at x equals 3, there's an invisible line your graph will skim at some point. Um, in some cases, not for vertical asymptotes necessarily, uh, but uh, horizontal asymptotes, you, your graph may actually cross it. But uh, it'll definitely skim it at some point. Anyway, that's our graph. You don't have to put the vertical asymptote on there. I'm just reinforcing that concept. Let's look at our next, next problem. We've got f of x is equal to x plus 1 over x squared minus 4x minus 5. Let's first look at vertical asymptotes. Remember our three steps for finding vertical asymptotes. First step is to factor the top, factor the bottom. Top part we can't do anything with. Bottom part, if you're from my class, uh, we use the PSD method. And it factors as x minus 5 times x plus 1. Step 2, cancel. Well, I got an x plus 1 here and x plus 1 here, so those are going to cancel. And we got 1 over x minus 5. Then for our vertical asymptote, you set your denominator equal to 0 and solve it. So we've got x minus 5 equal to 0, or x is equal to 5. Well, let's take a look at our graph to see why in the world I even showed this. Um, again, the trick is, if you got more than a single x or single number on top or bottom, put parentheses around that part. So put parentheses on top, parentheses on the bottom. Other than that, we're going to enter it as we see it. And there we go. Okay, so press y equals, press clear, do a beginning parentheses, x plus 1, closing parentheses, divided by, beginning parentheses, x, and then x squared button, minus 4x, minus 5, and then closing parentheses, and then graph. And this is what we come up with. Oh, we said there's a vertical asymptote at 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's no big surprise, kind of what we're seeing there. And then it's skimming that. Pretty good assumption we have a uh, horizontal asymptote at, uh, at y is equal to 0, uh, the x-axis, because it looks like it's skimming it. And then it appears like it's coming up this way and then skimming this and going along like that. 
Well, um, we set the x minus 5 equal to 0, and this gave us our vertical asymptote. But we had one we canceled away here. Uh, this x plus 1, if we were to set that equal to 0, whatever we canceled away, we'd see we get x is equal to negative 1. So here at um, negative 1, I don't know what's ex happening exactly, but I know there's a hole in my graph. So um, I didn't draw that real well. Let's try to put that actually on the graph. <laughs> Let's try again. There's a hole right there. Um, open dot, open circle. Um, so your graph is not actually complete without that open dot, open circle there. Um, that's one thing that the graph of the on the graphing calculator will not give you. And if you want precision, there actually is a hole right there. The um, way it works out is if it cancels away, it's a hole. If it stays in there, then it's a vertical asymptote. That's graphing uh, rational functions on a T84 plus calculator.